Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Boxing Authorities. Joining me at the desk, as always, Luther Dupree Jr., Smoking Jim Frazier, and my name is Claudio Relsano. Well, we had a couple nice fights. Uh, well, we had one good fight last week, something that we've, I've been looking forward to, and that's uh, Demetrius Andre against uh, Jason Quigley. Um, it wasn't the fight I thought it was going to be. It was kind of quick, Luther. Is that what you expected, pretty much? Well, his name is Quigley, and he got <laughs> and Boo Boo got him out of there very quickly. Uh, right, right. Listen, Boo Boo's a very underrated fighter. You know, Canelo, Smoking Jim's boy, has been avoiding him for years. Charlo doesn't seem to want to fight him because his style is difficult. He's awkward, but he has power in both hands. Softball. You know, he's not a style that you'll see much. He hits you from all different angles. And he's very impressive. I think we have some great video of him out there. 31-0, um, 19 knockouts. And I'm so disappointed that Eddie Hearn has not been able to get him to big fights. Listen, he's over there. Canelo was over at the zone. Triple G was over at the zone. Billy Joe Saunders was over at the zone. And he's not gotten any of them. He was scheduled to fight Billy Joe Saunders, but Billy Joe um, tested positive. Okay. This guy... Is, is, is box office, if he could get those big fights. He's 34, 35 years old now. I don't know how many top years he has left. I'd like to see him get those big fights because he, he's, he's box office. He's special, and um, it's a shame that his career is the way it is, uh, but he's, he's a top fighter. Luther, player. you know, to your point about his age, but – Again, to your point, he really hasn't fought any wars. So he's a young, still a young guy. Yeah. And one thing I've said on the show before, and I agree with you, Eddie Hearn has not done much for him. He's from Providence, Rhode Island. Yeah. He should have gone. I've said this before. Every time I mention Andre's name, he should have gone with Jimmy Birchfield, who I guarantee would have gotten him bigger fights. And Jimmy's a great guy and a great promoter. And he, that, I think that was a big mistake. Yeah, you know, before, before you go to Jim, you know, he's one of those guys, great in the ring, but he does bad business. Yeah. You know, bad yeah, exactly. business. Exactly. Uh, he should be a much bigger star at 35. He should have had bigger fights, but he made bad business deals, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, it's, and he suffered for it. Yeah. I, I hope he can get some big fights in the tail end of his career because he oh. deserves it. Smoking Jim. Well, I don't know how you can be uh, box office if you don't have no charisma. Hey, listen. <laughs> you know Did you I mean? see him when from, he jumped in a Can from, Canelo's press conference? From his name, Boo Boo. <laughs> so, I mean, listen, the guy's just somebody that uh, nobody really wants to see. He's a great boxer. He's softball. He can do it all. Um, he kind of lacks a pulse. <laughs> at times, but oh, I mean, this is see, a guy, go with this back slander. in the day, you would have had to fight this guy, but he's a dangerous fighter, and nobody has to fight him. The fans, most people don't even know who he is. He's not a, a person that's going to draw much, so, hey, he, he did a good job. Matter of fact, um, I really thought that the guy with charisma in there was Quigley. Um, he got knocked out early, but I liked his gloves and his trunks and his, <laughs> you know, Irish look. Um, Quigley looked like the um, world champion. How did he look like and the dressed. world champion? He dressed like a you champion. Know, like, he dressed like a champion. You don't like those pink gloves and pink socks, Jim? <laughs> no, them look, socks look, look like he got that out of Najee Harris. Look at the pink socks. It's breast, oh. ca <laughs> breast cancer awareness. <laughs> Come on, Jim. Look at those gloves, man. And just to correct, make sure... That flag on the back is not the Italian flag, Luther. It's the Irish flag. Irish flag. Right, right, all right, all right. Well, Jim, let, let, me, let me ask you this, and we'll stick with you for a second. Even the referee's yeah. board. No, look at that. Look at that power. He's stuck him. Yeah, he's yeah, good. He's good now, there's talk about him maybe fighting Jermel, one of your favorites, Jermel Charlo. Your thoughts on that fight? And who do you think would win? Uh, Woo! Char Char oh, he's trying to get out the ring. Look at that. Yeah, Charlo beat this guy to death. Um, what? You gave, you yeah, gave Charlo, Charlo credit? Wow, this is a, I know. Charlo would beat this guy. He's, uh, you know, this is a guy that would be tailor-made for Charlo. I think that Charlo, at this point in his career, um, I would give the edge. To be would you want to see it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be a solid fight, Jim. You don't like good fights, basically, because... You know, if you call him the red or whatever Quigley you call him. I want to see Quigley again. Oh. <laughs> Rematch. That's my guy. Boo Boo and Quigley Listen, again. There you go. Boo Boo no, and I, don't want, I mean, I want to see Quigley against somebody else. Charlo. I like his style. Okay. You like, like his, like his style. style. What, the way he goes down? <laughs> I didn't see much. He said them going down left and right. He, he pretty lost good. one he, fight. He, 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 he was undefeated out pretty good. going in there. He was undefeated there. Going Listen, there. man, I'd like to see Boo Boo against uh, Triple G. Mm. Charlo, any of these guys, man. Eddie Hearn's calling for a guy who's not even on the zone. But you won't fight him <laughs> right. against guys on your network. But you want to call a guy in PBC who's, 
you know, now they wait to do these network things. Unless it's a major fight, right. you're fighting guys on your own network. Look like he died the pink socks, <laughs> man. <laughs> Easter eggs. You didn't like, you didn't two like two questions, <laughs> Luther. Number one, I know you don't know, but would you? I'm guessing this may have been his highest paid fight. And how much do you think it? How much do you think he's made his top fight? Uh, I, I can't even. I don't want to pocket. Uh, Jim's the pocket watcher on this show. <laughs> You know, but I don't think he's made the money he should have. Yeah. You know, it, it's a shame. He's a top fighter. He has skills, but he, he has hasn't had the opponents. Bad business. This was the WBO middle. Yeah. Now, what about him and Charlo? Number one, would you want to see it? Oh, and your thoughts on heck it? yes. So That's I, a great fight for boxing. Yeah. Yes, Jim doesn't like good fights. That's evidently. an excellent fight. That's a great fight. I do think the advantage might go to Jamal mm -hmm. Charlo. I mean, uh, Jamal Charlo because. I uh, like his jab a little better. Boo Boo's More awkward. polished, right. Yeah, Boo Boo's right. awkward, so that could give anybody trouble. That's why Canelo doesn't want to fight him. He's so awkward, you never <laughs> know where a punch is coming from. But I think the uppercut and the jab would win it for Jamal Charles. But an excellent fight. You make a great point. He's not the normal or you know orthodox guy. He right. throws from different angles. He, he is changes, a southpaw. He turns, he'll His spin around legs in the ring. sometimes are a little wider, <laughs> and he'll hit you. Usually, when your legs are wide like that, you're not going to hit. Uh, he's, he would be a tough matchup for, for anybody. I'm not saying he for would beat anyone. him. anyone. Yeah, I'm not saying he'd beat him. If you ha if you were betting on it, I, I, I'm sure you'd have to bet on Charlie. I, I, listen, I take him. I, I like his chances against uh, Canelo because Canelo likes when you sit on a rope mm -hmm. and you can just pound away on you. But if you're moving, that would be a tough fight, and that's why Canelo doesn't want to fight him. Kicking Your thoughts the, on that? Kicking the redhead can down the road again, Lou, huh? What do you think Canelo I'm uh, just saying, Canelo had a chance to unify get, at 154, but didn't want to fight Boo-Boo. the break. He doesn't fight everybody. He would Who, kill what? Boo -Boo. Uh, did, first of all, oh, I don't want to see Boo-Boo fight anybody because uh, <laughs> you know, he don't move to Dow. But, I mean, uh, here if, he, goes if, if, if y'all going to throw Charlo out there, I already said, I, believe, I would give Charlo the edge, but I wouldn't right. watch it. Yeah, you don't watch anything other than heavyweights, <laughs> evidently. Devin and Canelo. Boxing authority. De Devin Haney against Jojo Diaz for the Woo! WBC lightweight title the on dream. Saturday, December 4th. Um, that we've been talking about Haney a lot. We've been talking about this fight. Is it an easy fight or is it going to be a, a competitive fight? Listen, Devin Haney, I told you guys about him. Jim, you should love him. He, fought, he started his career in Mexico at like 15. <laughs> Got a lot of victories over there. And he's come over here and has done nothing but, but shine. WBC champion. High school um, <laughs> Listen, he's a monster. I love him in the ring. Jojo Diaz is a dog. You know, his only loss is to Gary Russell. Yeah, which is um, tough. Which was tough. Gary Russell, we know uh, the type of fighter he is. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a great fight, but I think Devin Haney is going to style on him a little more, and he's going to show more power. Um, I watched some of his training and sparring. Don't be surprised if he drops Jojo one time this fight. Um, but I, I think Devin Haney is going to win a 12-round majority decision and uh, try to unify with George Cambosis. He's one of the best young fighters out. He can do it all. His defense is impeccable, and his power is improving. Great, great jab. I'm excited about it. You know, everybody talks about his offense. I like his defense because you just don't want to go in, like you always say, what, lead with your head. He's tough to hit. Your thoughts on Danny, uh, Danny, uh, Haney against Jojo Diaz? Whatever Lou said. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, don't like Devin Haney? I like Have you him, seen I him like fight him. you? I like him. I like yeah, him. What do you like him? about him? What do you like about him? <laughs> this, you can't hit him. He's, he's trained since a young kid with Floyd Mayweather. Well, again, I, I think although he can't make the weight class again, and he got recently got robbed, but I think uh, T.O., I like him. Oh, T.O., come on, oh, Against man. Haney? Yeah, I like him. Against you know what? Haney. Bringing that up, wow. the loss to Cambosis, which we talked about in the last show, you got two ways to go when you lose like that. Right? You're either going to go up and say, that's never going to happen again, or it's going to hurt your confidence. And he's a guy who talks a lot. He's a guy who likes to put it out there and, and go on with his mm -hmm. tirades. Do you think that's going to hurt uh, T.Lo? <laughs> or, or, or it's going to help him. <laughs> I, I, I think uh, it, it's going to affect Tio because Tio talks way? such a big game. He, he, you know, he does all this bravado. I'm the best. I'm the takeover. It was more like the fake over <laughs> because he should have fought Devin Haney. Yeah. Um, this fight for a real uh, undisputed championship uh, fight, 
And I, I think it's going to affect him mentally. You know, after yes. the fight, he was sounding like Adrian Broner. He, you out here leaking all over the place, <laughs> swelled up, your whole left and eye you is won closed. 10, 11 I won, rounds to two. I won 11 rounds to two. Right. What fight were they watching? You know, they robbed me. Come on. Everybody I saw. Agree. And, and agree. George Cambos has even said, look at your face. Yeah. That was <laughs> the best line. That's the scoreboard. That was the right. best line. Yeah. George Cambos. Before he Cambosis. went to the hospital? No, he didn't go to the uh, hospital. He stayed all he night. Said, look he at your face. You better sound like he was like Apollo Creed. You talking in the about hospital? T.O. had, to, had to go. Yeah, he for that eye. Both, both eyes. He so both eyes. Yeah. So they can't bozo. No. Yeah, he no. had to get stitched. Okay, I, that's I gonna happen. A stitch. You jump you in a pool, you're gonna get wet. You, 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 you jump in a pool, you're gonna what get wet. What hospital? What hospital did he go to? Australian rules radio. What hospital did he go to? Most guys get checked out, Jim. But we saw that eye was bad. He needed at least twelve stitches for that eye. He's been in the hospital. Okay, Jim. Jim, you make us up. Who besides Cambosis now? Who are the two other famous Australians? I Hold on, think. let me do the noise. Go ahead. This is a clock ticking. I can't think. Who's that? Greg okay. Norman. Greg Norman. Okay. And Olivia Newton John. You like that? Wow, her. I thought you meant John. boxers. Well, I mean, okay. anybody. Okay, okay. Right. I would, I what's what's the other guy with the alligator? What's, what's the other guy with the alligator? What's the other guy with the alligator? Who, crocodile? Uh, crocodile Dundee. Dundee. Did he yeah. pass away? The alligator did. I don't know if he did. <laughs> but I, I, I like to see that fight. Oh, let me ask you this. If Tio would have fought Devin Haney, would he have done better against Haney than he did against? I think Lopez? I think Haney would have schooled him. Even though he'd taken it more seriously, he would have taken it more seriously. But that's a style that that's not good for okay. Tio. He likes a guy to stand in and, and brawl <laughs> with him. You know, even Lomachenko when he started boxing yep, and yep, moving he, around, that's right. he started <clears throat> dominating that fight. And Haney can do that for twelve rounds. That's why he didn't take that fight. It's a bad style matchup for him. And I do think he has trouble making one thirty-five. He's a big one thirty-five. Haney. Uh, not, oh, both, T both of them, but Tio is a big 135, and I think he's is kind of weight trade trying to make that weight. And I'm not sure how he's going to fear at 140. He's going to have to add layers to his game because that fight, you could see that first round, he's just throwing that big right. right, you know, just throwing that big right one-dimensional. He needs to change dimension. He doesn't move his head much. That's why he was there for George Cambos' overhand right hand. So he's going to have to add some layers. Maybe bring in another trainer other than his dad. Yeah, you got to just out. rough him up. No, no, you, no. You, he may need to add like emotion. a Derek James or somebody else to add some layers to his to his skill. I level. think his punch will come up, but I don't think his chin will. Yeah, we, we saw he could be dropped. I think Cambosis is definitely a one thirty five. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. That's you, you perfect can see, you know, even and in he, that fight. he clocked him yeah. pretty good, obviously, yeah. and hit him. But I think if he moves up too much, I think he's gonna have a problem. He's gonna have to the work only on thing that I'll game. say about Tiafimo uh, and. Uh, Haney, I, I think he would have taken it more seriously. I mean, because this fight here. And, and and do you think, I mean, why was it postponed so much? I don't want to go back to that fight so much, but why was that? T.O. said he had COVID, I know, but and then it was in Italy yeah. <laughs> celebrating with his wife. Yeah. You know, and, and another reason I don't think the tickets were selling that great. You know, Triller had it, and they couldn't find a spot for it. Yeah. It kept getting postponed. Eventually, they let it go, and the zone picked it up because it went to purse bid. Mm -hmm. And now who's smiling? Bob Arum's just looking. What did I tell you, kid? <laughs> right. Come on back. Yeah. You're going to start at the bottom. And I feel bad. Teal's going to have to work Oof. his way up. Because the money he isn't going to be talked, He talked a lot of stuff on Bob when he, when he signed that deal with Triller. Now he's going to get spanked by Bob Arum. Mm. So that's not where you want to be uh, as a boxer. Under his thumb. No, yeah. that's for sure. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk about Canelo and his next move and uh -huh. see if we like it or not. Right back with the boxing authorities. Welcome back to the Boxing Authorities. Well, at the WBC convention, Canelo asked, I guess you could say permission, is that how you'd word it, Luth, to fight, to move up to cruiserweight to fight the WBC champion, uh, Lalunga Jr., Muk um, how do you, you say that last name? Makuba. Makuba, who is 28 to and with 25 knockouts. Um, first of all, Luther, I know you were upset after his last fight. You were say, You said, Clean out the division. Dominate the division. You know, you had some guys you wanted to see him fight at that weight class. And now he's jumping to cruiserweight. Your thoughts on that? Again, I hate the way Canelo is moving. This is a cherry pick. You know, you're jumping up. He's not even the best cruiserweight. Right. You know, it's a cherry pick. You got David Benavitez sitting mm -hmm. here. You know, he's worked his way up. Fight him. Dominate the division. Jamal Charlo wants to fight you right there. Come on, there's great fights at 168. Why get undisputed? And then just give up the titles immediately right. and jump up the cruiserweight and not take on the top guy. There, uh, who is this guy? I've never heard of him. All I remember, your boy, Tony Ballou, punished him, dropped him, 
numerous times, and this is the guy that Canelo, pound for pound, is going to fight. I mean, I, th I think you, we have some highlights of this like guy. I'm bad. not. Yeah, I mean, Tony Ballou looked like Rocky, <laughs> the movie Rocky, and an original Rocky Marciano against this guy. And this is the guy that Canelo, smoking Jim's greatest ever picks. I I'm very disappointed in Canelo. This is not good for boxing. Do you think, and it's just, well, we'll get to that in a minute because I have something on here that I want to definitely talk to you about. Your thoughts on, because to you, he can do no wrong, which is fine. That's your boy. But do you like the idea of him moving the you cruiserweight? You like his cherry pick. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, the Italian guy that was undefeated, what was his name? Joe Calzaghe. Joe Calzaghe. Now, when, sh when Roy Jones moved from here, 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 bypassing Kelzaki for years, moving all the way to heavyweight. You was okay with that. You was okay with that, he Luther. Was, uh, you was okay with Jim, that. Jim, now that Can no, Canelo's Jim, moving that Jim, same it, way. No, he's not How moving the same way. Do. He's no, moving he's the not same way. Jones, he's not, fight, Jones fought everybody. Hopkins. He fought Hopkins. He fought, he fought James Tony. He fought everybody. He, he fought Hopkins out. right out of jail. He, no, yeah, right, no. <laughs> they he got out of federal jail. He, he cleaned out the division Vinny. after he had all the belts. Where? He cleaned out. He fought everybody, and they said, you know what? Oh, he fought Lucas. Goodness. He fought Vinny. He fought Hopkins. Well, let me, let me finish, let let me finish answering the question. Did he, did he fight the guy from Italy? Did you say his name? Did he fight him? On, on his he, way up. No, he cleaned out the division, he was over, but he never he fought Kelzaki. Undefeated Kelzaki. Uh, he never fought him. Jim, so Jim, Canelo's, stop comparing the two. Canelo's moving the same way no, no. that Roy Jones let, was Let moving. me ask you this. Good point. Jim, let me ask you a question. I don't mean, but you, that's you a brought something up. Point, it's let, let, let me ask you this, though. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head who was the champ at the same time Ruiz was. Was it Evander? Who was it? Um, I think, Lennon? I, who was it? I think Evander had a belt. But but to Jim's point, would you – would you have liked it better if Jones would have fought Evander instead no, of cherry no, picking? He, fought, no, he, he was he smart did. to he fight Ruiz. That's right. It's yeah, he was smart. He so he Canelo is smart to fight Macabre. He's fighting no, a cruiser way. If he's, you're going to fight cruiser, if you're going to fight cruiser, listen. There, I know what not, you're he, saying. He's, I, I don't like it. If you're the pound for pound. Why are you going to go cherry pick the weakest champion, a guy who got dominated this by sea level Tony This country just don't like redheads. This country just don't like Reed. Oh, I don't man. like the way he's moving. You can if he wore an afro pick in the back of his head, you would love him, bro. I don't listen. I talk about the way anybody's moving. Yeah. Bud Crawford, yeah. Canelo Alvarez. I don't like it. There are top guys in that. But you love division. Roy Jones Jr. You love Jim, him. He fought all the guys that were there. All of them. He cleaned out well, the division. Well, let me just say Jim, this. Jim, let me, let me do you like credit. the fight? Answer the question. Let me just do you like credit. the fight? Answer the question. Let me just question. give credit where credit is oh, due. Oh, here you go. You Here's won't answer the question. Here's a man moving from 135 all the way to cruiserweight. Man, <laughs> I you wonder got how that happened. You, you got to give him. <laughs> now, Luther, you got since, to give him. There was a since test that gives us an idea how that happened. When Sugar Ray Larry said he fought Donnie Lalonde at the catchweight of 168, he said every punch Donnie threw hurt. He said it makes a difference. Oh, he's so phony. <laughs> he makes no shot. Uh, he he makes a difference. He, he said that commercial he's doing now with the with the, with the footwear. Uh, oh. Sketches. Oh, oh my God. He's, he's been doing that. I want to pull he's the been plug. Doing Why? That. Why? <laughs> Sugar Ray is one of my favorites. You just beat. You just mad he beat Ernie Sharif in amateurs. Oh, come on. Sugar it's Ray's a, a legend. It's a Peebo Bryson beat. Sugar Ray Leonard's a legend. <laughs> anyway, this, this now, is not, do you this think is... he's taking on, even though he's taking on maybe the top, not the top tier, he's a WPC champ, even though he's not taking on the best cruiser, okay, do you think there's a chance of him losing that fight? No. 28 no. wins with 25 knockouts and only two no, losses? He can Listen, hit. I think we have some And don't some rip on Tony Ballou anymore. I've had no, it. Can we, we rip on of Tony Ballou? This guy's slow. He's tailor-made for Canelo. Look at that drop, Look at that. Look at that. That's this the guy who got money on Look at him. He's stuck. Oh, him. Watch him. Look at that. Oh, Luther. Oh, Luther. Come on, If he hits Canelo like that. <laughs> Canelo's not. He's going to be the one getting hit. If he hits Canesco like that. Look at that. Oh, he looked oh. like he did a lot of training. That guy. <laughs> Is that Andy Ruiz? Is that Andy Ruiz? <laughs> Look, this, look at those lefts, Luke. These guys are just sitting Look at the head movement, Canelo, Luke. Canelo's going to tee off on this Luther, guy. Look, look at him. Moving look at slow. the short. Oh, look at that quick. He's a softball. He can ball. hit, Luther. No, come on. Canelo's going to walk through this guy, man. He can hit. He's a built guy. He's he got the pop to him. Look, he doesn't move his head. He's going to be right there for Canelo. He's going to work the body and break him down. Come on, man. This is you don't think if he catches him. It's a hell of a difference Canelo's hitting gonna, a super middleweight. Canelo's going to dominate that guy. He's too too slow.
Well, they, they won't give Canelo credit. I've never seen it. <laughs> Listen, Canelo's going to dominate that He's guy. He's in my top That's five a cherry. All time. Would you want to see it? I don't want to see that. Why? Because Canelo's going to destroy <laughs> that guy. And there's great fights for Canelo. Yeah, I'll be over there's, your house for that one. I might get it. Oh, I might get gosh. It. That's going to be a disaster. Well, okay, let me ask you this. And, and this is something I have specifically for you. But I will definitely talk about it. You're, there's look at it as a fan and as a business. I know where you're coming from. And you're not wrong. You've never been wrong about wanting to see Crawford Port. I mean, Crawford uh, Spence or, or this fight with Canelo. Oh, he's been wrong. No, he's been oh. right. So you you <laughs> oh. want to see oh, you mean fight there with as that. a fan. Oh. As a fan. But as a businessman. Okay, Canelo. He's not going to go in there and get the hell knocked out of him. So he has ninety-nine million dollars, but he doesn't know what Thank day you. it is. Thank you. He's being smart about it. You want to call it cherry pick, cherry picking? I'm calling. He's look, going to be in the Hall of Fame. He's oh, he, he's true. a big dog. He's got a ton of money, and he's going to have a ton of. But he's also going to have his senses. Thank he's you. going to have all the weight classes, including cruiser. And somebody's going to say, well, "Why the hell don't you fight heavyweight? Fight fight Usyk. Bridger. 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 Yeah, That'll be like next. That. But. It, it, are you? Can you look at it from both sides, the fan and the business? No, he can't. Business he can't. and 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 as a fan, I don't like this fight. You know, this is not <laughs> this is not this is not a fight anybody wants to see because it is because the attract not the fighter because nobody knows who the fighter is. Nobody okay? knows this but guy. The, but it's the crew that title cruiserweight. This, this, I don't think this. John Ruiz was. wasn't a big name, but Roy Jones Jr. fighting it for was the, a what, heavy the heavyweight weight. title. It was right. a heavyweight right. title. But nobody cared about Ruiz. I mean, but he had, people but, knew who he was. But, but Claudio, there, there's a big difference. He had already cleaned out the division. There was nothing else left for him to do, really. Then. Okay. So he jumped up. Canelo, he just jumped to 168. There are still guys, a guy yeah. who had the belt. I think before he le he left, he needed to fight David what, uh, what, David Benavides because he had the Roy belt. What happened when Roy Jones jumped back down? <laughs> that, hey. that Tarver uh, Anto oh, Anto oh, Anto oh, that's Antonio after he Tarver. got rid of his dad. Antonio when he jumped Tarver. back, he Antonio jumped back there without his dad. That's what happened. Yeah, a without his dad. Matchup. If he didn't have his dad in the this. corner. Let me ask you this. It's, I don't like when this you at all. Let, let's say he Let's say he goes to Cruiser and he fights this guy yeah. and he wins. Yeah. Do you think it'll be easier for him to dominate the 168 division because he fought a big guy or should he just maybe clean out the Cruiser? Well, the difference between. Or go to light heavy. Well, the difference between Canella. And Roy Jones Canelo. Jr. is Roy Jones did everything wrong and made it right. Canella does everything right and just getting better and better. He's in a, what way? In the ring or out? It, I'm talking about in the ring. Roy Jones did everything style. hands oh, down. That was great reflexes. though. That was him. No, yeah. that was him. But as his reflexes and age started growing up. Canelo's just going to get better as long as he stays. He's just a tight as long, fighter as long as and learned his trade at 15. Roy was playing basketball then. Listen, but Jim. Jim. All I'm saying is this. Take, my, take the greatest fighter of all time, pound for pound, you know, even greater than Canelo, was Sugar Ray Robinson. Okay. Okay. Nobody said nothing when he almost died of dehydration when he went to light heavyweight to fight for a title. That was a big deal. This is a big deal for this guy to go all because he yeah he don't have and, and and Sugar Ray was beating him every round. He dropped from he, the sun. Yeah, he yeah. dropped from the dehydration. But Maxim was in the sun that. too, though. But that's another. Yeah, story. yeah, you know. So in in essence, Canella, you got to give Canella credit for uh, doing that. Boy. This is a legend. He's the way he's moving, and this and nobody is, wants if, to give the kid credit because he got pick red hair. This this you'll see a picture of Canella. Who's the weakest <laughs> cruiserweight who lost to a sea level fighter? I'm fighting him. We didn't fight Benavidez. Uh, Charlo, Benavidez, Charlo, Charlo, Charlo. Exactly. Who else? All these Keep great going, guys. Luke. I mean, there's, there's a bunch of and guys. There's not money in that? Said the same yes. thing about Plant. Pardon me? He said the same thing about Plant, and Plant got punished. Hey, Plant fought hard and then got caught. But there's it some names he made. He mentioned Charlo, Better BS. And Benavidez. Boop, 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 maybe, Andrade. Maybe, Andrade. Uh, maybe by the time Canelo come down, somebody will earn the right to fight Canelo. But those guys have... Slower B-Taz would be just a beating. He's man. fighting Lemieux next, which I think is going to be a better fight than you think. I think Lemieux has something left. Well, you said who's fighting Lemieux? Better be if. Uh -huh. I, I'm sorry. Uh, Benavitez. Benavitez is gonna, oh, it looks like that's going to happen. Oh, he's going to dominate him. That's, that's going to be a I nice. Still like that's going to be a KO. I, I know, six I, I round think KO. Gonna give him some trouble. I'm not saying he's not going to win, but I think Lemieux is going to give him some trouble. Another But there's for guys Benavitez. that you would. I, I think that, that would on the fan side, you'd like him to see a fight. Exactly. Those guys. To, on the sports. business side, I'm okay with it. Right. 
Right. <laughs> business side, no one's no one wants to see this fight. I Nobody do. even knows who's I this do. cruiserweight but guy. But everybody is. thinks Canelo is here. Historian, so, see, yeah, I'm so. a boxing historian. Historians want to see that. That's what we want to see. But I mean, he's not by not and, fighting and, Benavidez. And all of, everybody in boxing who's honest will say this is not a good look for Canelo because it looks like he's cherry picking that's my the question. weakest I'm cruiserweight. I'm speaking to the historians. Well, that's and, my question. And, and that's how to go down in history. All these guys were ready for him, and he went and picked the weakest cruiserweight He's champion. Great point, I mean, Luther. I mean, that's that's just, my point. Do you think that is going to be said? I believe so. No, I'm no, saying no, it every no, chance I get, no. and and through history, that's that's going to be proven. People, They're going to be like, who is this guy that, that Canelo fought? People, he people was, will need a futuristic calculator to, to, to figure out – who was the greatest power for power of all time between Sugar Ray Robinson and Canelo? Oh, that, that's, my, that's, that's my that's question. Not, that's you know, the, not, the, that's the, not the, even it. The guys run the Mount Rushmore of yeah, boxing. He's, or he's gotta be well, that's what I'm going to ask. I mean, okay, uh, Luther, I mentioned Marciano, Sugar Ray Robinson, mm -hmm. uh, Muhammad Ali, Ali, obviously, Sugar Ray Leonard nah, to me. Put Ali on there. Oh, you have yeah, to, my God. So, and that, Duran, Lewis, trash. Joe Lewis, all Lennox, these there's all these legendary guys who are arguably on that. Mount Rushmore. Now and, and, you have placed Canelo oh, on that Mount Rushmore, which I don't yet. I don't. I don't. At all. But in order to do that, Luther, my question: I'll If he fights that. and beats Benavidez, fights and beats Charlo, fights and beats Better Bev, and he fights this guy Makabu, then what would you say? You got sixty okay. wins listen, already. I want to see. Listen, he's picking guys that fit his style, guys that'll stand in front of him. He won't fight these boxers that can give him a challenge. One plan for a reason. boxer. Play, and he gave him a no, challenge. He, gave a challenge. No, he punished he him. him. No, like he I said, didn't. He, punished he, him. Got, he got hit in the 10th round and, and went fight. down. He, made he beat the hell out he, of he him. Did. from the ring. is already he, looking at another fight. fight. What are you talking about? Again. But those guys like a boo-boo, guys who can park, box and move, won't just stand look in there. bad, maybe. Oh, exactly. Boo-boo. He ain't 15 no more. Y'all Charla, putting any, all these guys. Any old Tom, Dick, and boo-boo in front of me. These guys ain't earned no no right to fight. But this Makabu did. Getting knocked out by Tony Ballou. Watch it. I he have enough it? of that. Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all, I would put Cash's Come play on. on uh, all right, Jeff, we're not going to do this Muhammad bipolar. Ali. Different guys. <laughs> Muhammad Ali Wait, what is you Cash's Leon play. Leon Spinks on the Mount Rushmore. Nobody said that. <laughs> Nobody said that. Well, I, I just think Trevor Burbick. Didn't Trevor Burbick beat Ali too? Oh, he was. He was. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're not Come talking about the history. Why don't we just put you know Roy Jones Jr. on Mount Rushmore? He could have been. Yeah, how many know, losses he got? He could have been. Oh, he old in his now. career. He old. Listen, I, I think it's just a bad. I mean, business wise, again, I'm separating the fan from the businessman. Fan wise, I think it it's a bad look. Even that he jumps wise, better. Be even business wise. Okay, that's my next. That's one. not going to be. That's not going to. That's not. You a think big he's going to make a ton of money from it? No, I mean he's going to get. He's going to get his uh, 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 check, but he's not going to get his. Throw a number. He's not going to get his forty. The forty million he got for playing. Okay, say he gets twenty five. Would you rather make 25 against Makabu or make 25. 35, 40 against better be able to maybe get the hell, get some punches? You see what I'm saying? It might be a, but this boy, Listen. I'm telling you, he can hit. Oh, gosh. Come Show on, those man. videos again. <laughs> he he guys, caught that guy and stood there like Reggie are, after he hit Those guys that he fought, those might have been D-level guys, man. Can I just oh, come say on, this? Man. Can I just say this? Show, show Makabu again. <laughs> can I just say this? Me, Burt Sugar. Watch. Hold on. Look at that <laughs> shot. This guy like Reggie like Jackson tree. hitting a home run. That Look at this guy. Like a tree. Look at how's that guy. He's standing there. The referee didn't even make it at all. Come on, man. That's like Reggie looking back. Wait a minute. That's like that Reggie guy was looking, looking back. for a place to lay down. Luther, Jim, am I right? You're right. Then look right. at the all oh, this guy did no training. He went to the bar before the fight. But he Come beat on, him. Man. He locked this him out. This guy doesn't even look, look like that. a cruiser. Watch that away. left hook. Watch that guy's right there. Is no, those are all arm punches. Look at those body punches, yeah. Luke. He's not going to be a cakewalk. Oh man! Look at that Come quick on, hand. Man. These guys are champion. sitting ducks. He's oh. a world champion. <laughs> look at that. We should have put Tony Ballou destroying right, him on there. <laughs> no, we didn't, put, and we didn't put that on there. <laughs> That's what Labou we needed to put on there. He was a big guy. He was a, a damn near a heavyweight. Oh, gosh. Canelo, listen. Canelo is, <laughs> what is he, 168. He's going to balloon up to, well, you know, the cruiserweight weight. Is he going to have the same speed? Is he going to have the same he chin? Can, he can Is he going to have the same power? He can still go in there at 170. He, he ain't got to go no. He's all just natural, aren't you? He's going to blow up well, the Luther, cruiserweight. Well, let me just say this. Let me just say this. 
Me, Bert Sugar, and Eddie Jeffries, us boxing historians, <laughs> want to see you this get fight. Yourself. Don't because, put yourself in there with those legs. Because we like to see things that you never seen before. you never seen a guy as small as Cherry Canella pink. basically go all the way up to cruiserweight, other than Roy Jones Jr. He went to and heavyweight. So, oh, get it right. He went to heavyweight. But I'm saying go from that to X, you know. Uh, and Roy Jones, beyond. they go from 135. Who? Roy Jones no. to go from 135. Now that's <laughs> ridiculous. 135 all the way up to Tommy Burns weight. was the smallest yeah. heavyweight ever. The Canadian Italian who lost to Jack Johnson. He was like 170 or something um, like that. Yeah. You know, but uh, who knows? Somebody's going to say eventually if he does get the cruiser, why doesn't he fight Usyk, who was the former cruiserweight champ? But my point is, is he going to be? Is that punch going to come up? Is the is the chin going to come up? Is the Can speed? Listen, gonna, he's not a, speed. a great chin. Yeah, Canelo, but is it going to come up? Were you giving Canelo credit for something? Let me ask you a question, question, said, question Luther. Listen, Does I Pacquiao Canelo have a good chin? Uh, he could be rock. Okay, give me a rock. good chin in the lower weights. Give me a good chin. Uh, I think Floyd. Okay, Floyd. Chin, oh, could, would Floyd have a good chin against uh, uh, who the hell is the heavyweight champ? Uh, Paul, uh, Fury? Jake Paul. Fury? <laughs> listen, no, listen, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Is, is that going to carry listen, up can, is my point. But Canelo's been hit by these big guys. But not like that. 160, fought a Kovalev. Kovalev, Kovalev, when he was on but, the way down. You know, still, he, you know, Kabu can hit. He, he, you give he, took some, he took some solid punches from Triple G. Well, yeah, but that's a different ball game than a guy who's 180. Here's, 180. here's the one this thing. Guy, it don't matter if you're level. 280 pounds or you're 100 and Fulton's weight. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> you better Nobody, give Philly credit. Hey, if you get a good hit with a good yes. body shot, there's no recovery. What do you always say that? about a 225-pound guy or whatever? Now, right, if, if you get hit yeah. with a good shot. It hurts. It, now, it hurts. again, that's why they have weight classes, right? I'm just saying. I'm not saying Macabre is the good man. And Oscar De La Hoya used to say black fighters don't like it to the body, so Canela <laughs> got a shot. <laughs> that guy he's gonna, to the body. He's going to punish that sea level guy. I mean, you really think it's going to be a blowout? Oh, it's going to be a blowout. Are yeah. you that confident? In I'm it? that confident. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't make confident. me. Don't make me show some more videos. All right. Hey, listen, Canelo. <laughs> that left Sherry hook. picked the again, perfect guy for I'll you. Ask you a stand a there. world champion. Yeah. Yeah. Let me There's ask you again. There's a lot of world champions. 28 and 2 okay. 25 Some of those shots that you've seen him hit those guys with, can Canelo take withstand those punches? Yes. You think yes. so? Yes. Yes. And he can duck some of it's those. A, those <laughs> things so slow. <laughs> Canelo just be moving. Well, I'm his excited head. about it. I'm not He's excited. He's the WBC at all. champion, the best federation uh, out there. Canelo's He's, gonna dominate that guy. It, it, it's, us boxing historians <laughs> are excited. Yeah, about you are just satisfied. Luther with makes it sound. Everybody's a damn uh, sea level fighter. That Canelo, show that video Can, again. Canelo's better than that. Come on, man. Uh, I don't want to see that well, at all. I li I, look, I I would have liked to seen him fight. Better be Ev. And, and Benitez. Benitez. Benavitez. Benavitez. Just don't get Jim on me. Yeah. Don't go smoking Jim on me. I know, me. I know. David Benavitez. Come on. Or David Slow Lemieux. Or Jamal like to, Charlo. Charlo. I'd like Slow, to slow a Benavitez. <laughs> Do you think that fight's going to happen now against Benavitez? What, uh, uh, Canelo? Canelo. I don't think so. I don't think he wants to go part to David Benavitez. Do you think he's going to stay a cruiser? Clean it up? Maybe. Maybe. I guess it depends on how bad he beats this guy. He, he may he may stay up. Okay, if he knocks him out quick, two, three rounds. He may stay up there. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm hoping David Benavitez and Canelo get it on because I think that's No, Charo, he called out Charo. Who? Charlo's 160. Charlo Benavitez. He's, he's 160. Charlo's he called, 160. He called Charo a name, and Charo a response. So I got to – maybe he was right. Let me ask you, who would you like between Fury and Canelo? Man, man. <laughs> Go ahead, say Canelo. Don't man. even think about it. Don't even oh, start. God. Don't even start. Give me a couple more Don't years. Don't even start. Oh, oh that's yeah, a couple yeah. Years years. Away. I just worry that, number one, I would have liked to see him fight again. Benavitez right. or Lemieux and or and Charlie, those three guys. I like to see him fight. Not Lemieux. Not Lemieux. I like that's Lemieux. Oh, come on, Clark. Then I'd like to see him go to – then graduate to light heavy and fight better BF. Okay. Yeah. Or skip be, skip Lemieux, whatever. Fight better BF. Is he a mule? Do we better BF is tight. No, oh, you break? got a point. You're Everybody, right. That's the business end of it. I mean, every, you You're guys right. just treating this guy right. like a mule, no, like no. a redhead stepchild. Oh, here you go with this Because the head. business Country, end man. of it, look, on this he station can't. right here, we got the fan side of it, the business side of it. So he's right. He's right, too. Man, want you don't want him guy, to fight that the, guy, that You're right. Guy. Every You're right. month, you want him fighting until he gets beat. You got a Nobody point. Nobody can beat him. Well, we we've say already that. seen that. First of all, yeah. Jim, that's wrong. Floyd beat him. His brother was kidnapped. Triple G, <laughs> Triple G beat him the first fight, and a lot of people think Laura beat him. 
if you all remember that fight, he yeah. dominated him, punch stats and everything. But so you don't like the way they're handling his career. He's you don't think no, this the, is, the, this the, is the Canelo Inc. Canelo is bigger than he he picks and chooses. Okay, who he wants to fight. He pick cherry pick. But this I guy. do understand what you're saying. You don't want like like a, a, an NFL team or a college oh, basketball team. Gosh, they can't yeah. play. Kentucky and Duke every damn week. You got to play Appalachian is, State. Well, he, he, it's not even that. He earned the right. You won to, a cherry pick. That's pick, Jim Lightstep. No, 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 no rip on opponents. Appalachian State He don't State pick either. no stumble bums. This is a guy that saved boxing last year. Saved fought boxing. Four times in one year. Name me another fighter who fought four times during the COVID in one year. Tony Ballou. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to talk about <laughs> Tank Davis versus Ooh. Isaac Cruz for the WBA regular lightweight title on December 4th. Right back with the Boxing Authorities. Welcome back to the Boxing Authorities. Big fight coming up for Javonta Tank Davis versus Isaac Cruz for the WBA regular lightweight title on Saturday, December 4th. Luther, your thoughts on the fight? Listen, first of all, Tank Davis, you know how I feel about Tank Davis. I think he's the future, but I don't like the way Floyd Mayweather is moving him, jumping him around. Listen, I, I think he should be trying to clean out uh, the 135 division, the Devin Haney's, the Tia Fimo. I thought he should have been in that mix. Ryan Garcia called him out, and then, of course, he faked a uh, mental health or whatever Ryan Garcia has going on. But <laughs> Tank Davis is the future. This guy they call Isaac Cruz. <laughs> They call him the uh, uh, Puerto Rican Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson or whatever. A lot of power. He's going out in five rounds, though. Tank Davis is that good. Um, he can dominate this whole boxing world. He's a pay-per-view star. Everybody loves him. Uh, he's just he's just a terrific fighter, man. And it's going to be a great fight. I can't wait for him to knock this guy out five, six rounds. Should be action-packed while it lasts. But, uh, I'm with you all the way. Very, I don't very see great anybody touching him. Right nobody's, nobody's touching Tank Davis. 130, 135, and maybe some 140s. Nobody's touching this guy. I think his power guy. goes up to 140. We yeah. talk about that all well, the time. But we saw him against Mario Bar yeah. Barros right. when he got that belt at 140, and he, he's just that good. And we haven't seen – listen, you guys haven't seen his boxing right. skills uh, uh, just yet. You saw a little bit more of it against uh, Mario Barrios. He's got to do more of it. He can do more, but, but you've got to pull it out. This guy's not going to make him pull it out. <laughs> he's going to go in there trying to brawl and get caught with something wicked. He's tailor-made for Tank Davis. Look for that uppercut to put him to sleep. Cruz is going bye-bye. Smoking six. Dick, your thoughts on the fight? Well, um, I, I feel like um, uh oh! You know who be, Tank Davis is. Yeah, he okay. should be getting disqualified. Oh god! Uh, disqualification laws. If uh, Floyd Mayweather comes to the ropes again, I'm giving him a disqualification laws. Only ones that should be in that corner is your trainer, you know, cut and your, your cut man, and your and your spit bucket holder. He ain't better than <laughs> spit bucket holder. We've seen uh, you can't. We've seen you TV can't, no. personalities go you to corners you, and say yeah, this cut it, was caused a, by a punch, not an elbow or a headbutt. It's a, a, dis, it's a disqualification. Button. For anybody uh, in the audience, Jim, to Jim come answer the question. To think, Focus, listen, Jim. Answer the question. It, I, I, I think it's a Taylor made CTE fight. CTE stuff is getting for out of Tank hand. Davis. Okay, all right. He was two, worrying me for a second. Yeah, two tanks coming together. The only thing that can stop Tank in this fight is a disqualification for Floyd coming over. I would disqualify uh, oh, Tank Jim, Davis man. with a disqualification. There you go. Boss. If Floyd come over here again with that I, I, apple I, I, I've said this <laughs> I said this where I don't see anybody beating Tank for a long time. But there's some other big time fights wearing, coming up. You ain't I, wearing Kango. You can't go. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy that I'm starting to like and he's starting to get some attention. He got a name, obviously, from his dad. Oh, Chris boy. Eubank Jr., who's 31, 2, and 23. You already hear him grunting. Oh. Uh, against Liam Williams, who's 23, 1, and 1, 16 KOs for the super, a super middleweight fight on December 11th. I'm looking forward to that fight. I want to see Eubanks. I want to see him climb. I want to see who he is, what he has. We don't know yet. Well, well, um, Roy Jones Jr. is a yeah. trainer, so he ain't going but so far. <laughs> there you go. Find a way to, I knew you would find a way to slander a brother on, on the show. You're going to slander saying. another boxer. Or better be Liam, a, Liam, Liam Williams, another UK He's overrated. Uh, another He's UK overrated fighter. Both of these guys. I'm interested I'm not in the impressed. fight. It's a, but I, it's a little bit of a test for you, Bank, which is what mm -hmm. I want to see. Uh, better be of 16 0, 16 KOs, who I think he's up here with for the pound for pound. I really like him a lot. Not only for physicality, but his attitude. He don't give a damn who he's fighting. He's not worried about anybody. He's going to come slow. after him. What, what's that? Slow. Hines catch him slow. <laughs> but he can hit. He's, he's kind of slow. He's Against Marcus slow. Brown, who's 24 1 and 16 for the WBC, IBF, lightweight. 
title. That's December 17th. And a fight that I don't, I'm tired of it, but whatever. Oh. Derek Chisora, who's 32-11 you and 23. Put this on the list, oh. That's their two names. Oh. Joseph Parker's 29-2. For the heavy this weight. is the second fight. This is their second Derek fight. Derek Chisora got 12 heavy. losses or 11. About to be 12. Come on. He, Parker split the since <laughs> last time. Journeyman, Claudio. They're two names. They're always, but they're always being bantied around. They're always talking about Love it. my heavies. And, the, oh, yeah, and you never know. David Morrell, yeah. 5 0, oh, four KOs, who I like, David Morrell. I think he's got a shot to be a superstar against, what the hell? You read this. You like those names. Atlantez Fox, fox. 28 and 2, 13. He's going to be KOs. out like a fox. WBA regular title, 12 8. That's going to be December 18th. Is this going to be, I think it's going to be a little bit of a test from Morrell. No, a veteran, no. 23 and, or 28 and 2. Uh, this will be KO number five for him <laughs> in seven rounds. And you know, Morrell's too – he's going to outclass that guy. Okay, I think so, but I think it's going to be a little bit of a test, which is – I don't know if you want – do you want to test that early, Jim, at 5-0? and oh? He's you a, he's a world champion. I know, but would you want him to – There you no, go, marinating, no, guys. No, there's no way you should be in there with somebody that, that – That's my only worry. You know, he has I know a great he's a, amateur background, guys. I mean, that's just a professional record. He has a nice amateur background. We watched a fight that was on Vive Television Network a few months ago, uh, promoted by WBC. There was a guy who had a like an eight no record, if you remember, mm -hmm. fighting a guy who was like Gabby. twelve, yeah. ten, and two. Yeah. And we Gabby. said, we said on this show, mm -hmm. that's a that, that, that's a I don't want to say a trap fight, but mm -hmm. it's tricky. That guy's experienced. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, it's not a trap fight. Morrell, seventh round KO. Right. You know, it's not going to be much of a well, test for him. used to go to dog fights all the time, so he <laughs> watch anything. You know, <laughs> Triple G's coming back on he the 29th. Been, why wasn't he stripped? He hasn't fought in two sure, years? I know. Come on, man. Uh, he should fight Keith Thurman, right? Why not? 41-1-36 <laughs> <one and> <laughs> <laughs> against Ryutu Muratu, 16-2-13. A nice fight Most for Triple overrated G. overrated fighter in history, Triple G. WBA, IBF, IBO, what? middleweight. Oh, yeah, very overrated. What? Very overrated. Very <laughs> oh overrated. Then he sat on a belt for a whole year. Yeah. Come on, man. Well, everybody had still, that excuse. Still yeah, trying to get Mike the Canelo Tyson. fight. He might get it when he's 40 uh, sometime <laughs> next year. Yeah, well, back on. to our uh, most popular, not most popular, we're all popular segments, but a popular segment, the mailbag. Continue to send your great emails to us uh, and send them to my show, the Claudio Rosano Show, ClaudioRosano.com. Send them here to this show and on my show. This is for Luther, Wade from Atlanta. I would like to see a president of an organization that was the head of all judges and referees. Mm -hmm. If they make a mistake, a big one, mm -hmm. they should be benched. Do you agree? Oh, I love that idea. Yes, we should have a, a whole council because we're seeing too many of these fake cards uh, where it seems like these judges have it filled out before the fight even happens. Um, just like in this last fight, somebody had Tia win it. You know, and that, yeah, he that was, did. yeah, <laughs> Tio had himself with it. But listen, yes, I would love that. I think we need to have a uniform process. And once somebody messes up, they should be suspended, maybe removed from judging fights. I love that. That's idea. the term unified. Real quick, Luther and I did a fight. You dogged this. I don't know where the hell you were. There was a referee. Doesn't matter. But he didn't do anything wrong. And this one guy, yeah. it, was, it was even out of state. But 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 he he. Suspended him for the for the match, and Luther and I just kept world, saying a world class referee and guy. And this was out of state, another state. But regardless of that, we said, damn. We, but I agree with Luther. Unified. I've never seen that happen anywhere else. Yeah. And this guy didn't do anything wrong because right. Luther and I he were like, he said he was off his game and oh, sat yeah, him down. That was yeah. the most ridiculous right. thing I've ever seen. But some people, you know, get a lot of little power hungry. And I uh, love this question. I got to get in. It's for all three. James from Patterson, New Jersey. You have relatives there. Do you think fighters should have a vote in rankings like college football coaches do for the top ten? I, I, I love that question. What do you think? Uh, I would I would I like the question. Um, should they have fighters? Uh, sure, sure. Why not? I'm okay um, with it. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. Folks, I don't need punch junk. <laughs> <laughs> Punch strong fighters voting on anything. We just, already got you punch drunk. Just get in there, man. <laughs> get now, in there, and, and I'm tired of my boy talking about Tony Ballou and oh, Makabu. Oh, he sold me. He's selling me. He, I'm starting Ballou, to leave. You just I'm talking about Makabu. Tony Ballou blasted him, so now he's high on your list, huh? He's tough. He, uh, he has a nice left. Well, Show Can that video again. Can Canelo's going to blast him. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoy our show as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. Talk to you guys next time.